usd jpy is performing as expected to the upside if you watch this very video right here that i did recently on this very channel where i talk about you looking for buy opportunity and never to sell usd jpy and that is exact same thing we are seeing right now market is pumping hard to the upside and if you look at euro usd market moved down but not as aggressive as what we see on usd jpy and the reason is because right now jpy is weak like i always say for you to be successful as a forex trader you must have to learn how to understand which currency is weak and which currency is strong and when you pair those it's going to give you a nice currency that is going to give you the maximum better move in the market so in today's video i'll be diving into what you should be expecting next week of trading and also our weekly technical analysis bias on usd jpy and also euro usd watch this video till the very end let's dive right into the details if you are new here my name is paradise on this channel i discuss everything about forex day trading strategy to keep you profitable please support this channel by leaving a like for this video subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more forex videos like this also check the channel for all that forex content on the usd jpy chart i told you in this very video right here that if you see the market break out on this very pair then it means that market is going to move to the upside and after that breakout we see this very significant movement to the upside on friday which is yesterday before the market closed at this very price level of 1.59.76 and this is very very crucial because this is a key resistance right here which this resistance have been broken already but looking at this overall close market break it out and then begin to move to the upside and that is very important and one of the things you need to note right now is that this market is going to still continue this move to the upside i believe that this market is going to move upward usd jpy chart is going to have this movement to the upside and one of the key fundamental reason behind this is because jpy is weak right now it's just like you pairing euro and jpy if you look at euro jpy you discover that that very chart is going in favor of the euro which is the same thing what we are seeing right now on usd jpy so this is very very important right now guys market is going to still move all the way to the upside on the one day chart very specific on the one day chart expect the market to continue upward as we resume the market on monday if you look at this very week the market has made a significant move all the way from this very point where the market opened on monday which is 17th of this very month and the market begin to move upward from here i am expecting this continuation of this very move as we resume the market early next week and then close to the end of next week we should see some form of you know retracement to the downside or correction before the market is going to continue in this very movement until we see a strength in jpy that is when we can see a total reversal of this trend to the downside but right now jpy is very very weak and therefore you need to pay attention to buying the market to the upside on usd jpy one day chart looking at the four hour chart right here you see something very different on this very chart we see the market breakout like i said in this very video right here after that breakout at this very point market begin to move all the way to the upside as you can see right here on the chart and this is very important we see a little correction and market still move upward right now as we resume the market on monday expect this movement to go a little bit upward and then a retracement is going to come into the market before continuation again upward so what you need to do is to still look for buy opportunity don't sell the market on usd jpy for our chart yet now this is my own personal opinion so from here where the market is right now market is going to continue upward a little bit and then we're going to see correction after the end of the correction or you call it retracement market is going to move upward so it will be a nice time to enter at the end 
of the retracement for a buy opportunity to the upside in line with what we are seeing on the one day chart. So the one day chart should be your higher time frame for the top down analysis and then your four hour time frame is going to be the next chart that you're looking at then you can pick your trade on the one hour chart and this is very important right now guys on the chart so pay attention to buying the market on the four hour chart usd gpy after this correction that i'm expecting to come into the market early next week this is very very important and this is my own personal opinion market is going to retrace before that movement to the upside and on euro usd if you look at euro usd we are not seeing that aggressive movement on euro usd because euro is strong but usd is stronger than the euro at the moment but market is still moving to the downside because usd is stronger than the euro now this very chart has been moving to the downside all the way from this level of resistance after the fed interest rate decision market come back right down and this very point of support is very important i am expecting that this market should find support around this area and they begin to move to the upside so still expect the market to come back down a little bit into this very level of support right at this very point right here and then from here market is going to move to the upside and definitely if the market come back into this very area of support and then we see a breakout to the downside below this support that means market is going to come back to the downside which the possibility is very high on euro usd because usd is stronger than the euro at the moment and if the market come back into this very area of support and at that time euro is stronger than usd then that mean market is going to begin to move to the upside as well or we can just see a little retracement before continuation to the downside on euro usd which is what i am expecting right now i am expecting that the market will come down a little bit into this area before that little movement to the upside then continuation to the downside after the correction this is very important right now on the euro usd one day chart so if you look at the four hour chart we see a little thing different right here as well from this very point correction after this very impulsive move to the downside from here market come back down create a new low at this very point lower than the previous low at this very area and then we see this very retracement before market continue this continuation have not created a new low yet so this low is not lower than this very area which means that the market have capacity of retracing from this very point so what i am expecting as we resume the market on monday is very very important and this is my own personal opinion market is going to from here come back down a little bit and then we're going to see that very movement to the upside so on euro usd 4 r chart pay attention to market moving to the upside but that does not mean that you should take a buy position because usd is very strong to the euro at the moment so that means when the market begin to move to the upside wait for the market to give you a sell opportunity and then you begin to sell the market back to the downside either from this level of resistance that is on the chart right at this very point so this is what you need to pay attention to right now on the euro usd for our chart very importantly so the most important chart right here is the usd gpy chart this is the best area or the best chart to place your buy position on right now in favor of the usd because the yen is very very weak at the moment so this is very important guys please support this channel by leaving a like for this video subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more forex videos like this also check the channel for other forex content thanks for watching today's video and i will see you in the next video.